Uh, can I request all of you to switch on your cameras? As many of you can uh, switch on. Considering your bandwidth and everything. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, one question. How many of you have already attended this SRG in the previous years? In the last years, last few years, you are conducting the SRG from CIET. How many of you have already attended uh, the training? Uh, so, Disha, I'm audible properly and uh, like take issue, right? Perfect. Yes, I'm your audible. Yes, Girish sir, I can see you. So Girish sir has been with us, I think, for uh, at least two to three trainings. Good afternoon, madam. Yes, madam. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. So now we will start uh, today's session. This is about uh, video resources. In the in the morning session, you have talked in detail about audio resources, I think. And that was a very enlightening session for you all. You enjoyed that session because generally we know that session is very uh, enriching and as well as very uh, interesting for all of us, very engaging session that is uh, the audio session. Okay, many of you are from the first time and somebody is saying audio is not clear uh, from Lakshadweep, I think. Sir, I've checked with the coordinator, the, the audio seems to be clear. You can, maybe if your... Uh, Connectivity is an issue. You could just uh, check it once. And if you are switching on your video, you can just switch off for the uh, better quality of audio. So English is comfortable language for all of you or shall I switch to English and Hindi mix or shall I switch to Hindi? And these are all the English speaking states, all the South Indian states. So we'll talk only in English. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So uh, you have uh, you have learned about audio resources in detail. What is the theoretical understanding of the audio resources? Uh, what are the types of audio resources? And what are the basic uh, detailing we have to see in the audio while developing an audio? How careful we should be. Like if we are uh, on the mic, we are not visible to others. So, if we want the audience to cry, we have to cry on the mic. If we want our audience to laugh, we have to laugh on the mic. And similarly, the other expressions we have to portray through our uh, audio only. So, whatever we want our uh, whatever we want our audience to engage with, we need to be doing that very thing on the mic. But when we come to shift to video resources, we have got this small opportunity that the video, the face of the speaker, the people, the resources, the images are visible. In that case, you are not just engaged through your ear, you are also engaged through your eyes. So when we see, we learn a lot more than when we hear. Hearing audio uh, is required in audio ma'am oh, yes ma'am uh, ma'am your voice is breaking now uh, it's not very clear as it was earlier okay no i didn't do anything new because my connection i think is unstable yes so, so i'm showing now better connectivity uh, i hope now it will be better yes so, uh, audio has its own strength. When we want our children to imagine, when we want our children to think themselves and get into that world which is not restricted by the visual medium, then audio is the best medium for the literary work, for the creative thinking. 
audio plays a very important role in the visualization of a child. Whereas video provides the opportunity of visualization, but also restricted, restricts it up to a certain extent. So when you go and see, watch a movie, you are only binding in that music. You are not going beyond. Your thinking is not going beyond that, uh, you know, visual which is being shown to us. So that way we are restricted to what is being shown to us. So in that case, that, that could be a con for, that could be a negative point for video. But video is useful where audio cannot uh, maybe do the justice to the content. In the educational world, we can see diff different topics and different areas where we want to show the things to the children. Say, for example, you are teaching uh, parts of flowers, for example, right? In that case, you have to show the all the parts of the flower. Either you can bring the regular, actual, real flower into the classroom and demonstrate, or you can get into the detailed images of these flowers so that the child understands every concept of it. Right? So here, video plays an important role. Otherwise, audio can also be a good medium. So as a teacher, we have to as a teacher, we have to understand that what we need to inculcate in our children at that point of time. So keeping that consideration in mind, we will go about creating any kind, any kind of resource, whether it is an infographic, whether it is a mind map, whether it is an uh, interactive resource or an audio resource, a video resource or an animation resource. So it is not restricted to Is it still the problem audio? Okay. Just give me a second. I'll switch on to the headphones. Now, I hope I will be better audible to all of you. Okay, great. So, we have just discussed about how audio and video could be differentiated and how where we should go for using uh, the video resource. Now, I will just uh, open my presentation so that we can discuss a few more points on the uh, resources. So uh, when uh, when we are talking about video resources, it is basically also considered as digital storytelling. We are telling a content, a story in the digital form. So here, what is a digital story? If we understand it, it is a it is a multimedia presentation. That means it is having a mixture of different elements, like a narration, a content which we are actually speaking. It could also have text into it. It could have images. It could have infographics. It could have uh, audio. It will definitely have audio, audio in the form of uh, the narrative, as well as in the form of sound effects, as well as music. It could, you know, expand as much as you want. And you can also add other different elements like animation. Also, you can bring into the which video resource, or you can also bring now. In yesterday's uh, session, you must have learned about uh, interactivity, so you can make your video interactive. So that means you can just uh, create a video and bring uh, elements of interactivity. Add elements of interactivity, like uh, you can add a multiple choice question in between the video. The video will pause at that point, and the child has to answer that question. That is a digital storytelling incomplete if we understand. So uh, it, it, it encompasses two elements. We are telling one content, 
that we are teaching in the classroom along with the media part that is photography or videography or the different uh, elements of uh, video creation in the one aspect. So that is the uh, digital story. Now, how can you use a digital story? Or what is the use of a video resource for you as a teacher? We all know, uh, if, you, if we talk about it at, uh, from the administrative point of view, we are all asked to create videos. Why? Because different uh, the uh, different states are also now uh, running uh, educational channels, the 200 educational channels which have been provided by MHRD. So for displaying that, uh, yes, yes. Can you please make your presentation full screen? There is a request from one of the participants. Okay. Is it visible, uh, Diksha? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, don't worry about the part, uh, the, uh, the presentation because whatever is there in the presentation is just for the reference. I'm explaining all the points to you in detail. So, as I'm saying, from the administrative uh, aspect, we can have a demand for creating different educational resources. But as a teacher, we must understand why is the need for creating a video. And, you know, uh, what, uh, what what is the purpose for, for creating a video? How you are going to utilize that video? All these has to have a, a clear indication when you are going to create or use a video in your classroom. So a video could be used uh, for, as we said, the first word storytelling, for explanation, for uh, we can also create from the student perspective, we can ask them to make student-based projects. We can ask them to create video case studies. We can also ask them, for example, at higher levels to take interviews based on their subject lines and the, uh, and the uh, current scenario, which is being, uh, we, we are able to uh, integrate the current scenario and our subject. For example, in political science or in economics, we can see various changes happening around the world. We can just consider those as an interview. And while teaching that topic, these videos could be helpful in learning and in uh, rather experiencing this kind of idea or the phenomena which is taking place in the country. So, for example, you are a student of economics and GST was launched or demonetization was done. So, this could all be brought into the classroom. We can ask our children to interview the experts of different fields, see the effects and uh, negative effects and positive effects of these uh, uh, different decisions, different bills which are coming up in the country. So, that could help them understand the topic in a more, uh, you know, engaged and uh, what we call a constructive way. They are more able to be engaged with that particular topic. Now, this here, what we are going to discuss is somewhat a, going to be a repetition from the previous session. So I'm not going to get into the detail of this. The formats of any program, whether it is an audio program or a video program, are similar, right? Because in video, we only have the liberty to add images, the video part, visual part. but in audio we, and we lag only video uh, visual part in the audio programs. So the overall formats, the uh, the content, how we can present the content remains the same. Just uh, the way you teach in the classroom, you use lecture method, you use uh, discussion method, you use project, you use uh, other methods also in the classroom. So these are the methods which are common to all subjects. Lecture method can also be used in history, science, English, and other subjects. Similarly, we have formats of audio and video programs, which are somewhere similar to each other. Documentary, you have understood very well. This is a non-fiction, uh, non-fiction news. This is a, uh, this, this, the, 
program which is called a documentary is based on that. It's based on the real things which have happened or which are happening. So it does not have anything which is we are just imagining in our own world. Here, the authenticity of the content is more important than the uh, the visual element of the film. Right? The second is drama, where we are uh, using our creative writing skills to present the facts. So drama, we are including both. Somewhere we are going to talk about something creatively. Then we have documentary drama where facts played an important role like in documentary but the presentation could be in a drama format in, uh, in the docudrama format we cannot deviate from the facts in the drama format we can slightly go here and there to touch upon the facts but docudrama is more focused on the uh, content and presenting it through a drama mode so, for example, uh, 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 you want to show uh, uh, a war sequence. So, you can create a lot of drama, but the facts would remain same there. Whatever is happening, for example, whoever is playing the role of which character would remain the same. We are not going to change the outcome of that character. Say, uh, you, you can take any war. You can take 1857 war. Whatever happened, however, the East India Company did, will, the facts will remain same. Only we can play with the drama element of that uh, factual story. Then we have the talk. Talk, as I'm uh, doing right now, I'm not receiving any input from my audience. I'm not involving my students. I'm not involving my trainings here. And I'm just, I just keep on talking. I tried that you should switch on your camera and you should answer my questions, but you're not coming up with your ideas. So in that case, one person is speaking. The, the method which we use in classroom is a lecture method. So this is the most simplest, very popular, but very slightly passive and might be boring also at times for the children, depending on their age group also. Then we have interviews. We are well aware of this term interview and how we are going to use it uh, in the real sense. For example, you can ask your children to conduct an interview with your teaching geography. You can ask your children to go around or when they go to their villages, they can talk to the, uh, the farmers about the crops they grow, the type of uh, soil they have, the type of climate is there, and the effects of climate change on their crops, or the flora and fauna of that uh, particular place, how they are protecting it. All this will come under geography. So this way we can actually involve the real examples which will always remain in the child's mind along with the, without we being, you know, passive teachers, they are actually going to involve in it and they are going to more learn about it, right? So then comes the feature. In interview, we can have a variety of types of interview. We can have a very structured and rigid interview that what questions so, for example, we give holiday and we work to children that you have to ask these five questions to the uh, some person and they will conduct it. That is a uh, structured interview where the questions are frozen. You just have to note down the answer. Then we have semi-structured interview where we, we know the topic. We have re, uh, roughly drafted the questions. We have reviewed the questions, but we have the liberty to slightly modify the language of those questions also and maybe add one or two more questions. And then there is the third part, which is called the unstructured interview. That is uh, uh, that is when that uh, we are not prepared at all for the questions. We know what we, uh, you know, as a... We know the complete topic which we want to cover and we randomly go and based on the answer, we come up with the next question. For example, 
example, in this session, I'm going to ask them, then you are going to formulate your questions and ask. That is an un unstructured, uh, if we put it in an interview format, this will be an unstructured interview. Next is the feature. Feature is the most engaging, most interesting. Uh, we have all heard the term feature film. So here we are featuring some elements, some story, some character. That is the feature. And also in news, we would have heard that featured program on something. So for example, some politician, some place, some uh, action, some event that could be a feature. That means we are focusing on one particular thing and maybe one particular attribute of that thing. And we are completely focusing our program on that area. So here, I take example of uh, we stay in Delhi here, and in Delhi we have lots of historical monuments. So I'm going to create a feature on historical monuments. So which feature? I'm going to choose maybe one type of architectural design. So I'm not focusing on all the elements or all the uh, monuments around Delhi. So I'm going to focus on one kind of architectural input which have company maybe to uh, monuments and I'm going to cover that. What is the the architectural uh, point in that particular business? Who created it? How created? How they have thought of it? What were the reasons behind creating such designs? And all those we will be covering that aspects only. And if I talk about human beings. So now you uh, just ma yes, ma'am, your voice is breaking and it's not very clear. Okay, I can switch off my video, it might help. Maybe we can try. Yeah, so in the future, for example, uh, I have been given uh, an introduction that what I do, what is my experience area. So from all when a feature is written or video is created on that, any one element of mine would be covered. Say, for example, Monica in the media, or Monica as a research scholar, or Monica as a uh, maybe an employee in a certain organization, Monica as a teacher, Monica as a trainer. You can take any one element and just focus one that, uh, that one program on the Next is magazine. Magazine is when you must have seen a magazine. We just turn on the pages and we see, we find a story, we find a, a joke, we also find a poem, we also find a, maybe a historical uh, this thing, uh, we also find a fact, we also find a cartoon. Uh, in that, we also find a coloring thing also there. We might also find a recipe in that. So it is a mixture of all. So when we bring that magazine format in our audio or video program, it becomes that it could have a small interview. It could also feature maybe two, three minutes on some particular thing or item or idea. And it could also have a small documentary. So it is a mixture of everything or some of the things, depending on the need of the topic. Then is the voice of the people, where we are going to interview people about some major decisions happening. Say, for example, uh, we've just received this uh, Women Reservation Bill, which is called Nari Shakti Vandan Adhigan. So this bill is going, how it is going to change the life of people, how people reacted to this bill. We can go into the public and we get to know about people and their point of view, their opinion on that particular bill. So this is the box popular. This can happen in audio, this can also happen in video. You must have heard the uh, FM people, uh, radio FM people coming on the roads asking about different things. That is box popular. We are bringing out the voice of the people. We are bringing out the thoughts, ideas, 
reflections of the people who are going to actually use that particular uh, bill or rule or any new thing which is being implemented at the national level or state level. So now we have understood why we need video resources. We understood which kind of video resources we can create. But how to create them is an area of skills. Because we need to create videos for our channels also. We also need to create as a teacher content for our learners. We might also be on a YouTube channel where we are going to post our content. So how we are going to create that content? So one is video program. We either have to have some images of the relevant content, the topic which we are going to cover for that. Or we could have a video recording. Say, for example, people sitting in Lux should be on. We are here in the, uh, we are sitting in Delhi. We might not get opportunity to visit Lakshadweep so easily. So in that case, what you can do? What you can uh, record videos through your phone, through your video camera, or through your different features which are available to you. Maybe of different beaches, maybe of different type of uh, the flora and fauna of that place, maybe the underwater animals and everything. Maybe the maybe, uh, conditions of the people there, other different things which are happening there. You can create those videos through your mobile camera or through your video camera. And that video could be edited to make a very good featured program on maybe Lakshadweep Islands, which can be shared with other uh, citizens of the country so that who are not able to visit Lakshadweep can see those areas. When physical training is organized in CSCIT, people come from Lakshadweep, people who come from other states and they visit Delhi. Now you all are doing it in the online mode. So, we are here sitting in Delhi can create videos and share with you so that you can have the access, you can have the chance to see the monuments which are there in Delhi, to see the markets in the Delhi. You, may, you might not be able to shop directly, but you can at least have the chance and different factors of Delhi which, are, uh, which might uh, seem interesting to you. So, you can create a video through your video camera, your mobile headphone, or also uh, from your screen recording element. Like, as a teacher, you want to teach some topic, and you are doing it through your laptop and through your presentation. So, you can do a screen recording for your lecture and share that video with your students. So, this way, First of all, we can create a basic raw video and then we can edit it to make a complete video program. Now, how to edit video? Video can be edited with different applications and softwares available. We have very professional softwares like Adobe Premiere, FCP, which is Final Cut Pro, and others also. But they are all paid. They are uh, they might be difficult for us to access because the technicalities we as teachers we are not expert in accessing those software. So what we should do, we can do is uh, there are smaller applications available which are free of cost available to us. You must have an uh, awareness about free and open source software. You must have discussed it in the OER session. What is free and open source software? When we are not going to pay for it, that is free, we understand. Open means it is free from any other liability also. In the sense that the source code, the backend of the software is also available to you in free. You can go and edit the source code also to make changes in that whole application or the program also. So that's the free and open source software. So we have many uh, applications available for different tasks which you can use. Today we are going to discuss open short video editor. You might come up with certain question that I'm already using Kind Master or I'm using this or that. You can keep using others also. But you will notice that in uh, different uh, softwares or applications, uh, you get the uh, watermark. In the open source software, you won't get that. Features, 
would remain similar or maybe one one features uh, less or one feature more not a very big deviation in the features of the software but we can have a free and open source software which is more supportive to our systems now to download open shot you can uh, you can download it on, in, on your computer this is not an online application so if you have a connectivity issue in your area you just need to once download it and then you can run it without any connectivity requirement for that you have to go to openshot.org o p e n o p e n s h o t s h o t s h o t o r g and you can go to the download uh, you can click on to the this download button and you will uh, receive a uh, you know different set of options the kind of computer you have the kind of operating system you have you can select your open shot video editor i will request you all to download this also so that when uh, we are doing it you can do it is not parallelly just after that and you can also test what i am telling whether you are able to do it or not so here i'm uh, i will just show you the download uh, process also again once you download and run the application on your computer the interface looks like this just giving you an example of interface so that then we will go on to the hands on practice of the software here we have different features this is the projects project file box that means when we edit any audio or video first we will have to add that audio or video into the software so that is a project file that will be visible here in the project file box how to add that using this green button you can add different images audio music file video everything here in the project file section then these are the editing tools how to cut the uh, video how to you know remove a part of it how to join two videos together everything you can do here this is the preview window where you are whatever you are going to do here is visible here and here on the tracks so for example on one track you have kept the video on the other track you have kept the audio in the lower track you have kept more things which you want to use and this way you can utilize a number of tracks for your video program this this is the basic uh, uh tour to the landing page of photoshop video editor now we will go to the demonstration of the uh, photoshop video editor so that we can actually uh, work on this software so now i'm going to share my green screen um, which is going to help you in the in this first of all we will go to google or bling or anything whichever operate uh, browser you have firefox or any browser you have go and write open short video editor once you write it you will find it in the first or second option itself open short video editor just click on the button you can see here here is a download button either you can click there or you come down you can download the open short video editor from here you can just click better you click here only because here you will get all the options click on the download button now you can see this is the download uh, button here if you have a windows with 64 bit you can download this version if you have linux operating system you can download this version if you have a chrome operating system you can download this if you have os then you can download this with windows you can download this or a 32 bit also as i told 64 bit or 32 bit if i say 32 bit then it will go for the 32 bit downloading depending on your computer requirement you can simply download it once you download 
I'm right now stopping it because it's already downloaded in my uh, laptop. Once you download it, you have to run the application. You have to run the software. So how to run? You simply double click on it to open the file. It will ask you to run and you can run and it will be downloading and downloaded in your computer and installed in your computer so that you can start using it. Once you have downloaded, I hope all of you have uh, understood the downloading process. Any questions still here? Okay, download it. Very nice. Uh, so now we will go on to the software. I will right now demonstrate. Don't right now do it. I will give you time to work on it and then you can have your questions. We have two sessions to worry. I will explain some part of it now. We will practice that part and then I will explain the other part of the application after you have tried and tested the um, steps which I have already given you. Sita Lakshmi, what is the problem you are following now? Pondicherry Sita Lakshmi. Ma'am, you are uh, teaching here very fast, ma'am. Little bit, uh, give time for us to access it, ma'am. Okay, no problem. I'm going to go slow now only because theory was, you know that. So I was slightly faster so that we can give more time to the practical. Uh, you understood the downloading process, ma'am? I'm doing it, ma'am. I'm doing it. Okay. Just simply go on to the download. Uh, I'm sharing my screen again so that we can see. Simply go on to OpenShot Video Editor. You can uh, type it on Google. And then go to the download button. Once you click on the download button, based on your operating system, based on your computer, you can choose the version and you can download it. Once downloaded, you can click, double click on it to run, basically to install the software in your computer. And you say uh, run, it will run, it will ask for a few steps to follow. You follow those steps and then the, come, the software is ready to use. Now I'm going to again. Uh, now we're actually going to stop. See how the software works. Once you have downloaded and installed the OpenShot video editor in your computer, you can see something like this on your desktop or wherever you have downloaded it. For example, wherever you want to keep it, you can keep it. Or you can also search from here, start button. You can look for OpenShot video editor and you can open from there also. See here also we have the same icon, open short video editor. Simply open this uh, project and then we will start working on it. Now you can see I have shown the similar interface to you that this is a project file box. You can see here, this is a preview window. These are the tracks where we are actually going to locate our content. If we play here, the preview will be shown here. This is the plus button through which we are going to bring files onto this project. For example, what do we need for creating a video? You must have recorded a video. You would be wanting to add an image. You would be wanting to add some music. You would be wanting to add some sound effect. All of you, you have to add from here. And then all that would be visible in this box. Okay. So now I am uh, importing the files. You can import files from two places. One I have shown you this plus symbol. Or you can go to file and import files option. These are the same buttons given at two places for the convenience. 
wherever you feel any difficulty please you can either write in the chat box or you can uh, raise your hand so that we can resolve your query but right now just try to see if we will be giving time to practice this also don't worry so now here i want to add some files on to my uh, open shot video editor i want to start editing so i either need an uh, image or i need maybe a video so i have downloaded one video already okay so this is a video which i already have if i want music file or sound effects i can download them also if i already there with me in the computer i can use them as well right so i have simply imported the uh, video file here now to edit this file i have to bring the file here in the track you can just keep it at the beginning or you can just keep slightly away also from the beginning now you can see what this file is all about then we will edit it we have seen this video we might would like to give a title to this video right now or we would also like to maybe write down about the materials required for the experiment so we can do all this through the editing part right now this video is completing itself but we can also see there is no music we can add music also to the file so that it looks more you know uh, engaging and interesting now how to do it first of all you uh, you must have seen that i dragged the video from here to here and whatever is kept here is previewed can be previewed in this window preview window this is a video preview it is also written first time when you open the open shot video editor you are going to get all the instructions also it will explain every step from what you will do here what how what, what what are you going to do using different functions and features which are available here so now say for example i want to cut the initial beginning part of the video hello all my name is divya jagatwal i study in class 2d from mt international school sector 1 vasundra today i am going to so for example we want to keep hello friends but we want to remove the name and everything we want to keep the name as a maybe subtitle or some other form but we want to remove the name while we speak this name so in that case we have to mark those points from where we want to cut it so in this uh, you want you have to cut it somewhere here so cutting it you can see a scissor here which is called a razor tool 
kindly focus yourself on the machine computer you can just keep looking at it you can see this scissor which is called a razor tool right now just before clicking then you see my arrow how it is you can simply drag you can do anything with this when i click on the scissor what would happen i have to mark it again first of all so here i have given a mark maybe i want to give a mark uh, right to it also so here can you see this uh, draw this is a marker i want to put a marker here i just simply clicked on it now you can see a drop appearing here this is a drop so this is my marker where i want to cut okay now i am going to select the scissor or what i can do in where i want to cut i can decide today we want to cut it before today so i'm going to mark another drop here now you can see these two points have been marked now i want to cut the center part of it so i'll go to the scissor i select it now when i uh, click it you can see that this is now selected and when i bring it on my uh, track you can see now what is appearing it is appearing as if i am holding a cutter with a pen uh, something like a cutter and marking it so now i am going to mark using my cutter now you can see i've just marked one small cut what will happen with this so whenever you are selecting this razor tool be careful don't just keep clicking everywhere click only where it is required now i'm going to mark my second cut here just single click and the cut is done now i'm going to open the scissor tool see now it is unselected here i am going to simply select it for example i just uh, single done left click here it is selected now i am going to either click the delete button on my keyboard or i can right click and look for the remove click button on the right click and this is removed now we will see what is left to us <laughs> so now you can see it has kept a little more than what was required so we can remove that so for removing that there is another way of doing it one was to mark a cut and put the second is simply you can come to the edge of the video and you can simply drag it slightly drag inwards because we want to cut that part now we will see hello still the mine is visible or audible i mean so we'll do it again so it is not happening right now because the thing is very small you can zoom in and do it so now you can see how i am zooming in let's see whether it has come or not hello all so it is slightly little less so we can give a little more space or if it is not happening we can mark the cut also so that we are able to reach to the nearest point hello all now it is perfect we have received uh, we whatever we wanted we have done that 
Now we will see in the second part whether we are reached or now we will do. Today I am going to perform. So the second part is already perfect. So here we can either join these two together or, but when we cut a video and join it, there will be a jerk. We our eyes can feel a certain distraction. Why? Because the movement of the hand would be different in the both the shots. So either. We can have something like of this plate here, or we can add some other content here, so that uh, we are able to remove that jerk from the uh, video. So you see, first adding it, what happens? Hello all. Today I am going to part. See, it was like this. Hello all. Oh, uh, sorry, video is not on. So it was initially showing hello all, and then it started with this. So this was a slight jerk. You can add certain image or any other element of the video so that you don't see that jerk. Now we have done one part of it, and we know it is going very fine. Now we need to what we need to do as a teacher. You tell me when we have created this kind of video, what do you want to add? The first thing which comes out is. Would anybody like to tell, or shall I tell? Now we have started editing. What else do you think? Now should we start doing? When we have created a video transition, we can add an introductory page. Yes, so that could be our title. We can add pictures. We can add effects. Yes, we will do everything one by one so that we learn all the aspects. Of the uh, editing instructions, also you can add. When we have required, we said we, we can add that. So now, first we will start with the title page, the uh, introductory page, which uh, somebody mentioned in the chat box. So now, for adding the title page, you have got two three options. A, you can create using presentation. You go create a slide. With the type of title you want, you want to put, you can create there, or you can go to Canva. You have learned Canva also in the sessions. You can create a slide there, introductory slide there, so that you can bring it as an image and paste it here. Or the third option is you can directly create the title slide here in the OpenShot video editor. Now here. You just come. You can see file edit title view help. There are five buttons on the top left corner of the uh, software. So I'm clicking on title, going to the title, not the animated title. I am not going on to the animated title right now. Once you come here, you have to add the title title. You can choose that. So you can uh, have this bar type of title. You can have this bubbles. You can have this cloud. You can have this fire. You can use these as a title for your video. So right now I'm using this as a title. I've just chosen this option. Now you can see on the right side the uh, editing part has started uh, appearing. So right now the title is the title. The subtitle is also given. You can simply come here and change. First of all, file name because you are going to use it and reuse it, so you can keep a file name for remembering it also. So I am simply giving a file name title for the uh, video one line. So first line is the main title which I want to give. So what you want to give? It is experiment. Or rather, I will give this. Here occupies space. Subtitle could be an experiment, right? Now you can see the title has started appearing. If you want to make certain changes to this, you can use this uh, font and you can change the font. See, you can select the font from here. You can uh, 
choose a text color also according to your video requirement and the ground color also and then save it. Once you save it, it will appear here. Now you can see in the project files, there is the title for the video option is there. I am going to simply drag it to my track wherever the video is. Don't drag, uh, drag it anywhere else. So I need more space for this. I will drag here. For so using the size, you can, for image, you can just simply uh, drag it because it is not a video. We are not going to cut it. It is just the uh, image appearing for a time. So it is a static image. Make sure you don't put it for a longer time. It will become boring. So for a very shorter time, you have to put it. You can put it here. And you, if you want to remove, further reduce the time, you can do that. So now I'm going to Like this. Can you see one thing happening on my machine? What when I am joining two things together? Now I am joining an image and a video, and I can see a blue line appearing. Why it is appearing? Now you see. Is it a this is also appearing right now, but right now it is not working. So what happens is there is this thing which looks like a magnet. It is called snapping. Snapping means to join. To join two things together without giving it a space. Because in video, if you are going to join something and a bit of a space is also left, that will create a black. Now you will see how I'm saying this. Say, for example, I've kept it here and now I'll play it. You will understand what I said. Hello, all. What's fun in black appearing? To avoid that, I'm going to switch on this magnet option and then join it. So when I switch on the magnet, it will get completely joined without looking at the angle the video or between two videos also. So now I want to join this also. I will join it here. Now you can see. So here also, if you want to bring in air occupy space, you can bring it in at X and keep it here. That is as per your choice. And also because we have skipped his introduction, we can add his introduction here in the video. Bucket full of water and one empty bottle. Oh, is it of water and one empty bottle? A bucket full of so when he says here I have a bucket here then we can actually remove this part and we can add the image of a bucket filled with water and a bottle separate. So for that, either you can have the image with you or you can search for those images. I say bucket filled with water and I want to search an image of this. So I'm going to go to images. I'm going to go to tools, check my user's rights, whether it is Creative Commons or not. So whichever is Creative Commons and useful to me, I will take that particular bucket. Or I will use some other sources also I can take for showing the bucket of the water which is filled. Right? So right now, I'm not using it from here. I'm just taking the splashing uh, full bucket. I'll use this bucket, say, for example, maybe this one. I'll use this bucket. I am going to download this image. And then I need a bottom. I need an empty button, so I'm going to maybe use any of these, which is open.
So I think uh, maybe. This body and I'm going to download it. This is a different format, so I'm not using this. I want the JPEG. So I got one image of empty bottle also. Now I will come to my application. I have simply downloaded them and kept in my downloads. So I'm going to add two images from there. Now you can see. So here, when he says this, that I want this, I'm going to mark. And I'm going to play here. So I'm going to mark my cut here. So till here I can remove it. But before, just remember before removing, if I remove this video part, I will also remove the audio. So I cannot remove this video alone. What I need to do here is I have to get the audio file first. So whichever audio file I want separately, I will click on it, right click on the, that video part. Separate audio button is available. We can do it in single clip or multiple clip. I am using single clip. Now you can see it is happening. Uh, you can see a waiting symbol on my screen. So it is done. Now I can show you. You can see this in the below track, we have the audio file. Can you see this? This is the audio file. So here, now I can remove this visual. So removing the visual, the same step, select it, left click on that part and just either delete from the keyboard or go to the uh, right click and go to the remove clip button. So I said remove. Now you can see we don't have a visual but we do have the audio. So here I have a bucket full of water. So now what we can do is we can add the bucket here. So directly we will not bring the bucket here because we need to adjust the time. So we will just reduce its time here. And then we can also bring the bottle and reduce the time. I'm going to drag the bucket now. You can match it with the audio. Here I have a bucket full of water. And I'm going to remove the bucket. Oh. So now I can add the empty bottle thing. And now I have some space left, so I will simply increase the duration of these two things. So now I can see that so, 
Here I have a bucket full of water and one empty bottle. For so now, is it really empty? somebody said in the chat box we can add transition in between. So for adding transitions, we can definitely add them. What we have to do, we have two options. One is I can simply drag the image over the video. And you can see one transition has appeared. Now I'll show you the transition. So here I have a bucket. So now you see very nicely the transition has come. Simi simply I will uh, similarly I'll do it for the other thing. And now we will see the effect. So here we have got the transitions very nicely. Now this is automatically added that we are overlapping two uh, type of objects together and then the uh, transition is appearing. For example, now you want to add it yourself. What to do? So here where project files are written, go to transitions. You can choose the kind of transition you want and then you can apply it. Maybe a fail or maybe a just uh, we can circle out to in. We can just try what kind of transition is this. And we can put it here in between or on the one of the videos. So here I've kept it. Now we will see the effect. Now you can see the transition has nicely emerged. Similarly, we can uh, apply this transition here also where uh, Two similar images are matching. We can avoid the jerk using these transitions also. So now you can see here. Today, I'm going to perform an interesting experiment to show that. So here, this transition is slightly bigger, so I can reduce the size and use it. Now we have seen how to add a title. For adding a title, go to the title button. Add, click on the title, select the type of title, add the text and save it. Then we have added transitions. We have joined videos, images together. And now we think that our video is ready. Do you want to do anything else in this video? What do you think we can do? Can you say, can you mention your inputs, give your inputs? If you have anything which you want to do now, you can tell us. I can. Uh, we can start doing that also. The end title animation. Okay, effects. Right. We will. We will do the effects also. Time lapse is also an effect. We can do it uh, as an animation also. What is an animation? You are going to do do it tomorrow. So I'm not bringing animation here. If you have created some kind of video animation, you can bring it to edit here. For example, tomorrow you are going to learn stop motion studio where you are going to create a small animation video. You can bring that video here and edit it with proper music and sound effects so that the quality of the uh, animation enhances. So now somebody said the end slide. One point is missing from uh, all of you. Uh, if, uh, it is, we said that we will give a title slide, a name uh, to the child also, right? So we have to give that also. We need to understand how we need to give the name to the child, which uh, we see in the video, as a text appears here below the, uh, the bottom corner of this uh, screen. We can give that name to the child also. For that also, we will go to the title. I've clicked on the title. First of all, I have to check the name of the child. Some Zoom Burger one. We will just create it with this name. So I'm going to title again. And then I'm selecting. Now you know what we want. We want something on the border below. That is called maybe subtitle or the, you know, a different thing which we are going to do. We are not going to give a title to our video. 
so we have to be focused here what we are going to do so here it is added as a bottom or a footer i can take a footer option from here whichever is like by you we can try this and just giving the file name speaker name speaker actual name of speaker dhruv agrawal and i say save now it must have come in the project files i'm going to check it has come here now let's see how to apply it whether it applies or not whether we have chosen the correct plate title plate or not so here i'm going to bring this here maybe i can start from here itself so now you can see the name is appearing here properly but it is not visible why because the text already written text is kept there so i might need to either change the color of the text which i have added or maybe to place it somewhere else so i am going to re remove it create another title so i am going to choose this uh, blue this thing and i save now we have this and i go to get it here now you can see it is appearing here but still we can enhance the color quality of the text so you can do it as needed by you you can add it similarly this feature can also be used for subtitles in this uh, software so you can choose a whole text option and you can keep adding the lines on the video so that the title appear on the video so here i'm going to also tell you the use of tracks on the upper most track keep these files which are going to appear on top of the video then on the below track we will have the video in the further below tracks we are going to keep the audio music sound effect files because they are not going to be shown so whichever you want to show to appear on the screen should be on the top most layer that you have to be careful about so now let's save this video and see whether it appears to be a good mp4 or not why i'm closing here right now is because we will see this and then we will uh, learn the features also we will see what are the loopholes here so first of all whenever you are working on a project like this where you are bringing so many files in the project itself first of all save the project otherwise you will not be able to edit it if you directly import an mp4 and close the project then you will not be make, able to make editing into it further so first is important is save project i'm going to save the project as uh, air occupies space test file wherever you want to save you can just uh, give it an address and i am right now i'll show it on uh, to desktop to you so that it is visible i say save now i will go to my desktop they you can see here air occupy space test file but this is showing open shot same icon that means this is an osp file open shot project file it cannot be played in any other computer or mobile because this is a project file you have to make it convert it export it to mp4 file to bring it maybe to share it with your teach students your friends or also you have to bring it on your mobile so coming back i will now export project export video just wait for a second it will appear the window will come 
Now, you can see the file name is already given because I have given it to the project. Where it is going to save is also given because again, I have given it to the project. Now, you have to save it as a video. So, you want to use it for a DVD, you want to use it for web, format you can select. So, I am selecting all format. So, that the child has whichever format will be able to play it. So, it has given a target MP4 file. You can choose the target, you can play with the target. So which target will lead on to which kind of file. MPI files are slightly heavier files. MP4 we have different this thing. So, I am going select mp4 mp4 then video profile you can select based on the device if you want to or go with the standard given right now hd is we are using so you can uh, go with this also and quality you can choose for low quality medium quality or high quality what is the difference low quality is for the lower screen size like mobiles medium is for laptops and things like this computer if you want to play it on to maybe a bigger screen, then go for high quality. So, once you want to export it, it will take time. It is a rendering time because all the, which I have given, uh, the, the uh, transition and other things which we have used, it is going to save each transition. So, it takes time for, uh, you know, uh, saving it. Based on the time of the video also. If your video is bigger, then it will take a lot of time. So don't be in hazard. You just save it and leave the computer. It will keep working. So right now I'm showing the lower version because it will take less time also. Export video. You can see right now also it is uh, taking time. It is a lower uh, quality, very small video, one, uh, one and a half minute video. So, video rendering, video final output takes quite a long time in professional softwares also. So, it is nothing like that open shot is taking time. But generally, the professional software also takes time, but depends on the speed and RAM of the system that it takes how much time. So, we uh, have to wait for it so that we can see the output, what we have done. Till that time, I'll just see the chat because we, I can see a lot of... Uh, There are few questions like how to change the background. Background of what? You have to clearly answer. If you are asking about the title, the background was option given. You can simply explore that option, uh, that option and learn through that. If you are asking about the video, then in every video, it is not possible to change the background. But in certain kind of videos, we can do that. But we will do it in the next after completing this and then we will learn that aspect also. So now you can see it is complete, done, 100% done. I am going to see the location where I've saved it. You can see this was the OSP file, which is open short project file and this is the MP4 file. If I click here, you can see the properties, item type MP4. Size 10.7 MB, length 1.38 seconds. So I'm going to double click and play this video file. Now you can see some kind of irregularity is happening. So now you have seen all the uh, kind of uh, effects we have given are appearing in the video, but there is a fluctuation. You might be wondering what it is. 
the fluctuation basically is madam please tell how add speech text in the video sir subtitles the way we have added the name of the presenter you can use the similar option to add subtitles in the video why those fluctuations because the rendering has not happened properly so in this case so you can simply do it again. Just save the project file once, give it some time, and then export the video. It will be fine. So now, till here, we can uh, wind it up so that we can have questions, and then we can move on to the next part of this software. We will understand few more features of this uh, application. Here, we could see the separation of the audio. We could see the separation of the video. Now, we see. We can increase the level of audio. So when we are adding the music into it, we will learn all those aspects also in the uh, coming uh, discussion. Yes. A, it is because of low quality. B, it is because the rendering was not uh, properly done. So we need to give some more time to the machine and then it will be fine. Any more questions? I'm uh, stopping this screen share so that we can take the questions still here. Now you will practice some part of it for maybe 10 minutes and then we will move ahead with the next features of the application. Any more questions? Have you all downloaded the software? So you can now start working on it. At least don't make a proper video. Just try to, you know, uh, re uh, separate two files, uh, remove certain part, and then uh, re uh, separate the audio, add images. Just try to do these basic things so that we can understand whether you can now do it on your own or not. Sitaramaya, sir, actually, when we saved the project, the whole application could not have been saved. So we can just click once again, save, and that will take maybe one more minute, and then we can export it. I showed you how to add text on the video. I've just shown how to add the name on the video and also the other text. Using the same method, you can add. You can use any software. You can use any software for editing Mr. Najmudi. There is no uh, barrier for using Adobe Premiere also, but because that is a paid software, that is a very technical software, every teacher might not be very comfortable in using those uh, details. So this is a very simple software which gives you a direct basic idea of doing the basic things in the video. This is also not a very professional software because uh, this is uh, for teachers. So, you know, some steps have been really minimized to make it a simpler uh, video editing software. You can use any software of your wish, but for this training purpose, we are considering this. Any other questions? Any, uh, 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 I would request, uh, we, we have all the names, I think, coming up with the questions. So can I request the equal participation from both the genders that uh, the, the female uh, participants would also have certain questions they can ask? Okay, so shall we go ahead? Okay. Do we have a break at this time or shall we continue with the session? Uh, actually, ma'am, uh, we were wondering that the 
time limit for this session is 3.30. And then we will have four sessions on 3.45. So it's already 3.30, that is why I'm asking. No, actually, uh, because you were giving chance for hands-on experience so that they can yeah. practice right now. So that's why we were thinking that. No, they can practice on their end. We can have break also. We can give the 10 minutes when we start the session and then we can take more questions. And we'll add new inputs to the session. Okay. Actually, the fourth session will be on another topic. Oh, okay. This is just one session. I was told in five. We have another session related to virtual learning. So we'll see that moment. Okay. okay. Then I'll just finish it. Maybe I need 10, 15 minutes more so that I can tell a few more features. After that, we can take break. No problem. Okay, thank you. So uh, now this is a surprise that uh, uh, I have to complete the detailed things in a very small uh, period of time. No worries. Uh, so uh, we have seen one part of the editing which we have understood. Now, uh, say for example, you want to play with the audio. You can simply click on the audio, whichever is the audio file. You can go to the volume and you can reset the volume. That means, for example, there is a music file and it is very loud. So you can reset the volume to the entire clip for how much fade out or uh, reduce noise you need. You can keep it to level 10%. You will just see here in this clip, I'm keeping it to 20%. You will see the difference. Now you could see the voice has reduced. So this you can use it in the music file. Music file you have to import it in the similar way the way we have imported other files. Till here we have done with the basics of the editing. Now I'm going to a slightly uh, next level, which is effects. Effects you can directly also apply at certain positions and some effects are to be applied with certain different steps. So here, one I will show you uh, without doing anything which is visible. So I'm going to bring this brightness below here and we can uh, see the, if it has any effect. So anyways, now I'm going to show one more thing. I am uh, saving this project and opening a new project so that uh, we don't take longer time to save a project here. Now we will see the chroma effect. Somebody was asking about the background thing. If you are asking about the background of the video, in that case, how to edit it. So I've just opened a new project. I am adding two, three more uh, files from uh, my computer. Sorry. So this is a chroma video. For example, you have shot your video against a green screen or a blue screen or a uh, any blank screen and then you want to remove that part with uh, uh, remove that part and add some other background to your video you can do that so for that you have to drag this image here and you have to drag the background below it so now what, how are you going to uh, remove it now we will see first of all how it looks we can see only the upper layer. We cannot see the uh, below background, which is visible to us. Now we are going to see the background. What is the background? So I've kept this background for now. I'm going to place it just below this uh, video. On this video, I'm going to apply one effect. How effects work, now you can see that. This is a chroma key, green screen effect. You will select this, bring it here, 
put it on the green screen. Nothing happened. Everything remains the same. So with this, nothing will happen. You have to do certain next steps also. Click on this C button, which is appearing. Or you just uh, click on the right click properties. Now you can see the green screen properties, chroma key properties are appearing here. Here you have to remove this green color. You can see this green color, this background we want to remove. We want to keep this element, but we want to remove the background. So for this, we have to tell the computer that I want to remove it. For so that, first of all, keep the cursor in the beginning. Go to the key color option. Go to the key color option. Either you can select the color from here, which you want to remove, or you can pick screen color. I am picking a screen color, and this is my screen color, which I have chosen. Simply click the, the video itself, and then OK. Now you can see that whole color has been removed itself. Now for removing these extra side edges, I can uh, click here. Slowly, I'll just add a number. I'm experimenting here how much color is being removed. You can see there is no difference coming now from here. Or a very slight difference is coming. Now I come to threshold. Here I will change the color to 150 maybe. Now you can see the color has been quite a bit removed. Now I'll increase it to 300. It is perfectly gone. But it has also taken few elements of the person. You can see a black is appearing here. So that means 300 was too much. I'm going to do it 200. And now it looks better. So now uh, my background has been changed through the chroma key feature. Now I want to move this element. This is like in the air. So I want to reduce the size of this character. Don't just do it from one, uh, you know, one upper or lower side, do it from the edges of the video. You can see this. The size has been removed. Now hold it and bring it down. Now you can see he is standing on the floor. Please switch off your mics. Now you can see that this uh, person is standing on the floor. This way you can change the background of the character. Now you will see this video. We started a little late. So this is what I wanted to uh, show uh, as a next step if you want to practice, practice also, but we are not able to. I hope you have understood how to remove the background or how to play with the chroma key feature of the uh, video editing. You can now create your own videos using these uh, very features. One feature which is left is uh, as a teacher or as from a state representative, we create videos. We want to add our institution's logo in the video. How to add that logo? I was expecting all these questions from you, but it didn't come. So I'm going to tell it myself. I'm going to again share the screen. So for adding the logo, first of all, uh, the top track should be free. I'm adding new track. Again, I can add any image and make it as a logo, or you can bring your own logo, whichever you want to add. So I'm going to add one image. So if, uh, I've got this NCRT logo with me, so I'm using this. This is an NCRT logo. I am bringing it here.
But you can see that this would not be visible like this. It would be visible on the top of the video. So I have to reduce it. I will. Uh, I want to maybe just show the logo. So I will first crop it and bring it here. Or I can do this also. I can take it here and just show this part of it. And reduce the size as we did for the character. And we can see the difference. Now we'll see how it is looking. Right now, because I've shown that step doing it in the video, so it is showing like this. Otherwise, you can also add video or logos in your videos in the similar way. So this is it from right as of now. Now you can practice these steps if you have any questions. Uh, uh, the team can lead to me. I will be able to answer those questions to you. Thank you very much uh, for your patient query. Uh, do try this application and try to create some video out of uh, this application. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the wonderful session and the hands-on experience. I hope uh, all the participants will benefit from the session.